Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the brutal cold that has shattered weather records across BC. The sudden snowfall yesterday created chaos and now the ice is making some roads treacherous. CTV's Kevin Chirac is live in Surrey near the Portman Bridge. Kevin, drivers don't have to deal with the snowfall this time around. How is traffic moving tonight? Mijung traffic is moving smoothly and that's a significant improvement from last night where we saw crashes, pileups and cars simply unable to navigate the tough terrain. Right now I'm just clearing up all the frozen buildup of salt. Graham O'Donnell spent the day salting roads after a very messy night. As soon as you get accumulation of water and freezing, in whatever manner, it, it can happen instantly once those temperatures drop. Across the region, commuter chaos. A 25-car pileup on Highway 91 in Richmond. Oh! Oh! Cars smashing into one another on slick, hilly roads. This view from O'Donnell's vehicle shows buses on Blue Mountain Street in Coquitlam unable to move. I remember last night going home myself from my shift and some areas on the hills were just sheets of ice. Like Burnaby's Royal Oak Avenue. We spotted at least eight cars today abandoned at the side of the road. Please slow down, move over, let us work. This tow truck driver says he's had one of the busiest 24 hours in recent memory. It was nuts last night. I mean, you know, getting around places, all the bridges were a gridlock. And some roads still far from safe. Just a few blocks away, we spot a car stuck on a hill. Well, it's a complete ice rink on this road right now. Um, yeah, as you see, we can't walk up. And it's been this way since last night. Luckily, good Samaritans with salt in hand are there to help. A snapshot of winter weather once again resulting in a rough ride. And a reminder, just because the main roads are looking much better tonight, there is still slick conditions in some areas, namely side streets. And be careful for the steep side streets, particularly the ones that haven't been salted. So drivers should still proceed with caution and, if possible, stay home if you can. Me, John. Kevin Chirac reporting live tonight from Surrey. Thank you, Kevin.